Uh, we're here today for a number of reasons, one of which I believe is a failure of leadership. We've been told by that leadership for as long as I've been here, which is late 2011, that there's no crisis. I would ask that leadership and all of you to come to Hillsborough, my hometown, where the Peter J. Biondi Bypass, a five-mile stretch of road, sits incomplete, mothballing. It's the bane of my political existence back home. It's an embarrassment. It causes people to lose faith in government. I have advocated since I came to the legislature in 2012 for an increase in the gas tax. You, Mr. Speaker, and I have talked about that personally. You know. In fact, very early on in my term at a Chamber of Commerce event, I said that we needed to raise the gas tax. A couple of pennies, maybe a nickel a year, July 1st of 2012, 13, 14, and 15, to avoid the situation where we are today. By the way, at that Chamber of Commerce event, early on in my term, I practically needed a police escort home. But here we are today. We desperately need to replenish the Transportation Trust Fund. We desperately need tax reform in this state, but not like this. Not like this. This gives every appearance of being a shell game. And I just don't see how any of us, in good conscience, can think about cutting some taxes that are going to have impact on the general fund revenues when our state workers and teachers' pension trust goes broke in 12 years. That seems to me to be the height of irresponsibility. Now, yes, there are things that we can do responsibly to reform our tax code. And I think the best way to replenish the Transportation Trust Fund is with a blend of what John Wisniewski is recommending and Senator Sam Thompson is recommending. Let's sit down and talk about that. Thank <laughs> you.